Yo, what is going on everyone in the crypto space? Thank you guys for tuning in the channel today. Really do appreciate it. And I got two really awesome pieces of information to share with you guys today. So let's go ahead and get right into it. Now, first off, based on what you're seeing on the title, uh, I am in no way saying that the limit for the XRP ledger is 127 transactions per second. As you know, my channel continues to grow and, you know, getting more uh, people watching the channel. I see a lot of people going on other social platforms and really misinterpreting what I said. So if I see anyone on any forum saying oh Alex Cobb saying XRP Ledger has a maximum 127 TPS no the maximum right now is 1500 TPS on Ledger can scale to 50,000 off Ledger and is currently being worked to scale to 10,000 transactions per second because I kid you not I had people coming in the stream today dropping links on Twitter where these people were saying oh Alex Cobb thinks $1 end of year I literally never said $1 end of year 2019 I just said I want to get over a dollar before the end of the year like I want I just want to be over a dollar so XRP seems a little bit more sophisticated not so much of a penny stock Anyways, I'll quit my babbling. Let's go ahead and get into it today. So the XRP ledger at one point did hit 127 transactions per second on the ledger. And this is a consistent rate. And for the last 20 minutes, I was literally trying to find this tweet because uh, me just being myself, I, I didn't think to actually, you know, screenshot the profile of who screenshotted this so I could actually give them credit. And dive deeper into the discussion, but I honestly can't. I had to surrender and just show you guys this picture right here. Uh, this is from the tweet. If you guys can find the tweet, please link in the comments below. I'll go ahead and pin it if I do see it. So at one point, uh, so it's saying 6 p.m. I don't know if that's Eastern or, you know, what kind of time zone this is, but at a certain point in time, the XRP ledger was officially at 127 transactions per second. Now, Right now, uh, it's at 7.5, uh, we'll just round it up 7.6, sometimes it kind of ranges between, you know, like 7 to 15, like on a really good day, you know, like 20, but right now it's at 7, 7 transactions per second, but at a point in time, recently, I believe this was, you know, just a couple, maybe like 7, 8 hours ago, the transactions per second were actually at 127, and this kind of had me thinking because we saw today how Mercury FX was confirming uh, their use of XRP, and they, like, you know, they sent their largest payment uh, through XRP, which is, you know, 4500 bucks, the largest payment they've ever sent over the XRP ledger, and I don't know if that's kind of coincidence with what this happened, or if there was some, like, bulk load of transactions being sent by one financial institution as some sort of, like, stress testing or just a in general a bulk load of transactions whatever the reason may be but either way it's confirmed that the xrp ledger at one point did hit 127 transactions per second now that is massive compared to what we are currently at right now so at some point in time uh at, at some point today there must have been a bulk load of transfers uh, going on through the actual ledger. So interesting to know, maybe this has something to do with some sort of X rapid uh, deployment, but like, you know, the other kind of counter argument is, well, why the heck is it back to seven? I honestly feel like this was maybe some sort of stress test going on behind the scenes because, you know, you can test, uh, you can test things on a, uh, on the XRP ledger test net, but there's nothing really like testing what the real actual thing is. So maybe that's kind of my perception could have been some sort of X rapid onboarding, could have been some sort of really could have been anything but either way the fact is the ledger did hit 127 transaction per second which is massive i don't know how long exactly what well, how long like, it actually held this actual tps but either way the fact that it hit 127 gotta mean something's good that's going on behind the scenes so guys, next thing I want to talk about today, this is something we, what we as a community can actually accomplish. Here I created a petition, uh, right when I started the video we had 39 sign, let's see if we got any more. Uh, so now we have... Okay, 31 apparently. <laughs> but either way, I started a petition for cryptocurrency regulation. I know that we do have, you know, two representatives from Congress working on the Token Taxonomy Act and the Virtual Currency Consumer Protection Act. Uh, no, that's what it is here, 54. So we got 54, um, what's it called? 54 signatures already. So basically what I state through here is that, you know, digital assets, plethora of use cases, and because of lack of regulatory clarity, uh, the people who are really trying to innovate their business model with blockchain and crypto are going offshores to where there actually is regulation. And then the bad apples stay here and take advantage of the lack of regulatory clarity. And along with all these people from Wall Street stepping in, it just makes the most sense to have regulation established in this country. I know the government's like, you know, partially shut down right now, um, but again, it's not going to stay closed forever. So I wanted to call this petition and try to get as many people to sign it 
as possible uh, i put out a tweet here i'll link in the description below and guys honestly it's worth a chance because the worst case scenario we get ignored but best case scenario some you know big uh smaller media start to pick it up and transitions into like bigger media about a cryptocurrency petition i mean if you're invested in xrp ethereum bitcoin i don't care let's come together as one cryptocurrency blockchain community let's sign this petition let's retweet it let's share it around let's try to get as many signatures as possible because you never know this could catch the attention of someone important and let's say we get like you know a hundred thousand something signatures who knows i don't know how the, how fast this can really grow but guys really the worst case scenario we just kind of get ignored but best case scenario if this was like to hit cnbc and people start sending this to members of congress this starts making like you know a uh, headline news for blockchain this would be really awesome so that the government can really see that we are truly wanting a cryptocurrency regulation this isn't just one or two institutions that want it this is a whole community of real people in the u.s that want this regulatory infrastructure established uh, i know some of you guys watching uh uh, probably uh, aren't based in the U.S. I think like 30% of my viewers UK, 9% uh, Canada, whatnot. But either way, uh, even if you're not based in the U.S., I'd really, you know, uh, ask for you to sign this petition because, man, if the number one economy in the world, if the most significant government in the world starts regulating cryptocurrency and puts the infrastructure out there, I mean, man, that could just, wow, that could really, you know, that could honestly be a big deal, honestly. That could be some really crazy stuff there. So honestly, guys, even if you're not in the U.S., try to get it through because if the number one, I mean, I'm going to repeat myself, but if the number one economy in the world regulates cryptocurrency, other countries are just bound to follow because pretty much most of the countries in the world are reliant on the U.S., essentially. So for trading and... Um, especially like trade deals and whatnot, the, 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 the global economy is heavily reliant on the U.S. market. So if we get the biggest economy in the world regulating cryptocurrency with infrastructure, I mean, guys, regulation could be one hell of a catalyst for growth. I'm telling you guys this right now because having clear and set rules and allowing institutions to lean in and leverage the technology for a plethora of use cases, I mean, guys, we could literally change the world here through blockchain. So please sign this petition, retweet it, get it out there. Let's see how many signatures we can get. Let's see if we can get some major media to go over this. All right, guys, thank you for tuning in the channel today. Make sure you drop a like, subscribe. Check the links in the description. Get yourself a Ledger Nano S. Keep that cryptocurrency nice, safe, and offline. By the way, the Kraken CEO recently did state to never store your cryptocurrency online anywhere. And that's from an exchange owner himself. So, and make sure you do hit those post notifications so you never miss a video or stream. And as always, let me know what you guys think in the comments below. Always do appreciate your insight. And I'll see you guys in the next one.